Well, on this night, before the annual Republic of Texas Biker Rally, a motorcyclist is in town for the event and is already in the hospital. That biker lost control of his ride on Manchac this afternoon, just south of Slaughter, and collided with a car. The 54-year-old was unconscious at the scene, and paramedics rushed him to University Medical Center Brackenridge. Police say he was not wearing a helmet, and tonight he's in critical condition. Well, also, police are doing what they can to prevent motorcycle accidents like these from happening at this year's rally. KXAN's Doug Shoup is live on 6th Street tonight, where many bikers are already visiting. And, Doug, what are police doing to make this year's event safe? Yeah, you know, Leslie, about 44,000 bikers are expected to come to Austin this weekend. And out here on 6th Street, many of them are already here. You can see that their motorcycles are lined up outside of many of the popular bars here in the entertainment district. Now, in addition to increased enforcement, officers are also talking with event organizers and sending a message to bikers and motorists alike. And for the first time ever during the rally, police say if they think you're drunk, they'll get a warrant and take your blood. You won't have the option. Of refusing. Les Patton and Sandy Callahan came from Norman, Oklahoma for the Republic of Texas rally. It's just a great time, great place. Uh, it's just a mini vacation, you know, for us. Yeah, four years, four years in a row. Yeah. Oh, it's the best. But in the midst of all the fun, oh! there is a danger. During last year's motorcycle weekend, three bikers died in just three days. This is something that we want to stop. Police announced a no-refusal weekend from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. both Friday and Saturday nights. This means if you refuse our tests and we believe you are intoxicated or impaired, we will take you to jail, you will go to the front of the line, and we will take your blood, and you will stay in jail. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Patton and Callahan have lost biker friends to crashes. We don't need any more fatalities. It's too much. It's too much. This Oklahoma couple say they play it safe. Got to be safe. So, you know, we have a few beers, but, uh, you know, try to keep it downtown and walk to the hotel or whatever. They hope others do as well and have a message for the drivers who share the road with them. Look twice, look both ways. You know, just keep an eye out. Especially at night. A caution echoed by law enforcement. Look twice and save a life. That's one of the biggest things we can make sure everyone's aware of the bikers. Look in your blind spots. Take a little bit of extra time. We don't want any more collisions. Now back out here live, police say 14% of fatalities on the roadways are motorcycle related. They say that trend is actually on the decline, but they want to get the number even lower. On another note, officers say thieves do target rallies like this, so that's why they are urging motorcyclists to lock their ignition and remove the keys to prevent any thefts. Reporting live on 6th Street tonight, Doug Shoup, KXAN, Austin News. Thank you so much, Doug. Well, this bike rally generates about $36 million for the local economy, making it one of the top five money makers for Austin. The Austin Convention and Visitors Bureau says it follows South by Southwest, UT football games, ACL Festival, and the rodeo as well.